In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can use function notation to evaluate an expression. Now, function notation will always use this f of x notation, and what that really is is saying f is the name of the function, and whatever's in parentheses, whatever's inside the function will replace the variables. So what's in parentheses is what goes in the function. So for example, if we see f of x is equal to the expression or the function negative x squared plus 2x minus 5, and we want to find f of 3, whatever is inside the parentheses here is going to go inside the variable, and we always put it in parentheses, the part that changes. So we've got the opposite of x, which is now 3, because that's what's inside the function, squared, plus 2x, which is now 3, minus 5. Notice all I've done is I've taken the number inside the function and replaced the variable with that value. Now it's just order of operations to simplify. First we square, giving us negative 9 plus 2 times 3 minus 5. Next we multiply, negative 9 plus 6 minus 5. And then we can add and subtract from left to right, negative 9 plus 6 is negative 3, minus 5 is negative 8. And so what this means, if you want to think about it visually, we've got the function machine where we took the number 3 and put it in. The output we got was negative 8. That's what we just found here. We're finding what the whatever's in parentheses goes into the function machine. We're looking for what's coming out. So in example 2, we're asked to find g of 20. 20 is inside the function machine, so 20 is what goes into the variable in the expression of g, always in parentheses when we make a substitution. So g of x is equal to the square root of 2 times x, which is 20, plus 5. Well, 2 times 20 is 40, let's do in our order of operations, plus 5. And finally, 40 plus 5 is 45. Now, we're not done, because if you remember working back to radicals, we can simplify the 45. One way to do that is to look for the prime factorization. We know 5 goes in there 9 times, 3 goes in there 3 times, and 3 goes in there once. So that's really the square root of 3 squared times 5. And square root will pull a 3 out of the square root, giving us 3 square root of 5 for our final answer. So again, visually what we're working with, with the function machine, we're taking the number 20 this time and throwing it into the function machine, and what came out was 3 times the square root of 5. That's what we're looking for. When we plug a number into the function, what comes out? And the way we find it is whatever is inside the function, will replace the variables.